Hey guys, Probable 1701 here, and my steel book has crossed the pond quicker than I expected. I have it, the Abominable Snowman, the last, for now, of the animations. I've read the target novel of this, but I have been looking forward to being able to watch the animation. And the steel book looks good. Uh, it, of course, follows the trope I figured it would of having the TARDIS on the front with kind of some creatures in the background, creature on the back which a lot of uh, the still books have fallen into that trope of, which I've complained about before. I knew this wasn't gonna look as good as the vinyl cover. The vinyl cover. I don't know if you've seen the vinyl cover, but the vinyl cover looks phenomenal. It really has the Thing vibes going for it, which uh, this one doesn't. There we go, get a little more light. Only a little more light. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. Haven't seen any dents so far. The packaging was the very simplistic envelope packaging that Amazon does. I love Amazon's quick shipping. They've really been getting back up to speed where they were, you know, before the coup hit. But they don't package their stuff very well. I still haven't brought my scissors over from the old place yet. So we'll be using the be using the car keys <laughs> so yeah that looks really nice and of course you can see here on the back the little blur with all the information you can pause that and read it so we have episodes one through six in black and white and episodes one through six in color with the surviving episode two which of course is the only original surviving episode of this six-parter sadly but at least we have episode two which is very nice and other little bonuses I'm looking forward to watching the making of I really am we'll slide off the J card here and I will admit the still book does look nice it, it does it is a nice looking still book it's uh, again not quite what I really would have wanted I would have wanted something a little scarier and spookier like that vinyl cover but it looks good you can see the Snowmen on the back, very much echoing the web of fear uh, back with the Yeti here on the back. And I haven't seen any dents, which is good. I was concerned there would be dents. I can't tell if that's a dent or just, no, I don't think that's a dent. I think that's, there's something there. I thought that was a dent. I don't think that's a dent. That might be a little more. Either way, it's not that big a deal. Whatever. I can't tell if that's supposed to be there or not. No, I can't tell. If I can't tell, it can't be that bad. Of course, here's the spine. I don't like the way they do the abominable snowman. Again, it looks too cartoony, like something you see in a Scooby-Doo cartoon, which is very fitting for the animation style used. Um, but I would have preferred, again, something spookier, scarier. But it looks good. I think that's going to look good on the shelf. I like the way the color, that kind of blue-white pops. And it's nice to kind of have one with the black lettering, the black lettering to kind of go with the Fury from the Deep one. I'm pretty sure I'll like that. Now the disc, of course you got your little booklet. Well, this is really hard. I'm having to figure out how I'm going to do these unboxing videos. You got your little production note booklet. I'm looking forward to reading this. The animation does, from what I've seen, look better than Fury from the Deeps. They've definitely made some improvements. I liked Galaxies 4 a lot, and it's the same company. Now, now the art, of course, on the disc is the art from the standard release. It's not like Macro Terra where it had the steelbook art. This is just the standard release art. And then if you take all the disc out... You have a nice shot of the snowy landscape right there, which looks nice. Looks very nice. Ooh, I'm going to be watching some of this today. I was just thinking. I didn't have anything I needed to do today. So I am looking forward to seeing this. So yeah, it looks really good. I'm going to read through that book in a little bit, I think. And here it is. 
next to its sister story, Web of Fear. Again, you can see the similarities, the Yeti in the background with the TARDIS on the cover. That's kind of the, it's kind of the thing they do uh, with the classic Who ones. They're extremely predictable. And then even on the back, the back of the still book is just, you know, that, that corner shot. of the Yeti right there. Um, but I like it. It is nice. Uh, both these steel books do look good. I've definitely got to give them that. Um, they look really nice. So yeah, the Abominable Snowmen Steelbook Limited Edition. It made it in quicker than I thought. I like it. Tell me if you're getting the Abominable Snowmen and which version of it you're getting. And if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the like button and the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you never miss out on another video. I also have a Patreon if you would like to contribute to that. There's a link to that down in the description below. I have a P.O. box down there as well if you'd like to send anything. And there's also a link to my Amazon wish list down there. I want to give a shout out to two of my top tier patrons, Stephen Crane and The Fifth Doctor. I appreciate their continued support as I do the support of all of my patrons and all of my subscribers. Most importantly, thank you for watching.